And hi again, everybody. I'm Pat O'Brien, and welcome to a busy day in college basketball, beginning in just a few moments with Bridgeport taking on Virginia Union for the NCAA Division II Championship. And how many of you had them in your office pool? At 4 o'clock Eastern Time, the road to the Final Four continues. We'll talk some hoops and then send you out to the West Regional Final, Indiana and UCLA tip time 442. And at 7 Eastern, Kentucky challenges Duke in the East Regional Final, a pair of 1-2 matchups coming your way. But first... The NCAA Division II Championship, when the road to the Final Four continues right here on CBS. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Division II Championship game is sponsored by Oldsmobile, official car for NCAA championships. Subway sandwiches and salads made fresh before your eyes. And by Old Spice Conditioning Hydrogel. It's the simple solution to saving face. They say some people have more money than they know what to do with. I don't know those people. The ones I know want good value. Now at Subway, they can turn $1.49 into a six-inch cold cut combo. It's the kind of sandwich your mother would make if she was foolish enough to bake her own bread and spend half the day chopping fresh vegetables. She still couldn't beat our low price. If time were money, her sandwich would cost around $100. The price of a good sandwich just got lower. $1.49 for a limited time at Subway. to Springfield, Massachusetts for today's NCAA Division II championship game between the Panthers of Virginia Union and the Cinderella Kids from the University of Bridgeport. So far, the glass slipper still fits for Bridgeport, a school that will be closing its doors at the end of the summer, but the season is still open thanks to a thrilling come-from-behind semifinal victory last night. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Brown. Well, today's game will be a matchup between contrasting programs and schools. Virginia Union is a perennial national power in Division II play, making its 14th NCAA tournament appearance. The University of Bridgeport, despite all of its financial woes, the kids have stayed focused. They are now at the national title game and hoping to make their last ever game a championship one. My partner is Bill Raftery, and Bill, such an emotionally tugging story. No one wants Bridgeport to lose, even the coach of Virginia Union. Well, he's commiserating, but I won't stop them from performing, <laughs> JB. But this is like a Broadway show that's been canceled. A sense of accomplishment, but a lot of disappointment. They're playing not only for the university and themselves, but the city of Bridgeport, which has had some financial woes. Hey, Billy, if in fact a positive ending is to happen, it's going to be a pretty tall order against Virginia Union. Oh, what a front line, JB. You'd fit right in there. <laughs> Big, strong guys they've got a lot of them they'll play that two three zone and probably take the opportunity break bridgeport press push it as quickly as possible one major plus for the university of bridgeport in the starting lineups today lambert shell will be starting the team's leading score at 23 a game missed the semifinal action with a severely sprained right ankle he will give it a shot to start today billy what do you like in a matchup but, there? shell uh, with that problem with the foot and jones how they compete against one another and i think valuing the ball is very important for virginia union they've got to control it don't mess as they work against the press the officials for today's game, Robert Pugh from Hamilton Square, New Jersey, Robert Madigan from Arlington, Virginia, and John Jaworski from Warwick, Rhode Island. We're set to play. University of Bridgeport notching his first victory of the season here in Springfield, though not at the Civic Center. And we're underway. Bridgeport in white controls the shot by Morris off the bat early and a strong rebound by Troy Phillips. This is the big Virginia Union squad you've been talking about, Bill, in red. And Hurd under control. They get it inside generally. Not a bad-looking jumper. <laughs> this is a solid basketball team as Jones continues this fine play. Reggie Jones, a 6'7", 225-pound forward guard forward, knocks that jumper. Morris, second shot. A good one this time. Well, the first one only took two seconds. That one a little more organized against the 2-3 zone. Here's the pressure. Bridgeport, an up-and-down team style-wise, averaging 91 points a game, so they love to get up and down the court. And they play this little 2-3 zone. They will trap out of it, JB, in the corner and on the wing. Bridgeport giving away size. Here's a shot from the wing. No good by Walter Hurd, the team's leading scorer. Rebound that time by Winston Jones. Stolen. Here come the Panthers. Inside, 
to Derrick Johnson. Strong move on the inside. Rebounded aggressively by Lambert Shell. Now, Shell, as we mentioned, playing on a very tender right ankle. Was in a cast yesterday, had it shot up, and was on crutches. People are shocked that he's able to perform. Outstanding performer. Picked for the NABC East-West game. Blocked. Derrick Johnson swatted away the shot by Steve Wills. And a traveling call. People's usually under control, solid with the basketball, about two to one ratio on assist to turnover. And how about the block shot? You don't get too many easy ones against Virginia Union. The Purple Knights, a team playing on emotion, Billy. Certainly indicative in postseason play. And the quarterfinal action, as Wills goes up, he smacked and fouled by Walter Hurd. We were setting the stage about this emotional story for Bridgeport. A team, as we all know, playing its last basketball game as you look at Bruce Webster in his 27th season, all 27 at Bridgeport. And knowing Bruce, that jacket's been with him for that length of time. Out of the <laughs> Petey Grill style of clothing. But I noticed the zone of Virginia Union, JB. They do give you that flash post. And Bruce picked it up, had that nice cut by Wills. The school, an enrollment of 3,300, and Bill, that's down from an all-time high back in 1974 of 10,000. Tournament record impressive, but the school, again, financial woes, economic woes of the city and school. Bridgeport will be closing its doors at the end of the summer. The basketball program, as well as the rest, are out. Good posting up against this press, and you won't see Virginia Union rush unless it shows itself. Warren Peoples handling the ball. This is Walter Hurd, three-point shot off the front of the rim. Good, strong rebound by Johnson, and a foul is whistled on Steve Wills, the 6'8", 190, 190-pound senior. Dave Robbins, head coach at Virginia Union in his 14th season, a school of 1,300. That one male dorm will be changed. There will be three very shortly. It is a growing school, a fine institution, and a very fine coach. Blocked from behind, called a foul from behind. Whistled on Pat Morris, and that is foul number one on Pat Morris. I think Bridgeport has to concern themselves with rebounding. They all have to help, even the guards. This is an impressive front line. And Bruce Webster knows very well that his team is going against an impressive front line. This is Troy Phillips, 6'7", 220 pound forward. Virginia Union, the CIAA regular season and tournament champions. They got here as well as Bridgeport by coming through a very talented field. Bridgeport got by Central Oklahoma. That's a little Loyola Marymount University when Paul Westhead was coaching. Getting up and down, and how about playing three straight days? Now, I know you were in shape, but this is a task without respirators and even going full tilt. Actually, three games in less than two and a half, mm -hmm. two and a half days. Well, inside out. Off the mark that time. Lambert Shell. This is Peoples. Up to Hurd. Shell just not, doesn't have the mobility. Nice pass inside. Hurd to Phillips. Hurd, nice look. Plays with it himself. Hurd. Used to be a scorer at Smith. John, and, and all of a sudden, wants to learn how to play. Thus the transfer to Virginia Union. Shell off the mark. Good follow off the glass by Winston Jones. Now, Lambert Shell, you're only seeing a shell of the player as he's really hobbling on that very ginger right ankle. A nice little turnover here is that this is their game. They get 17 or more, they're tough. Mars for three, and it's a 9-5 Bridgeport lead. Now, you look at Lambert and thinking of Willis Reed in a way. Nice step in here by Derek Russell with the completion. Got to value the ball. The one concern, you can't play in the middle of the floor if you're Virginia Union. They've got to beat it and use their big people. That shot by Troy Phillips broke a seven-zip run by Bridgeport. It's an 11-7 lead by the Purple Knights. Nice. Blocked nicely by Johnson. Heard between the legs, back to Johnson. The man who started it. <laughs> a little extra. He knows it's prime time. Back to a two-point ball game. Bridgeport on top. Lambert shot tipped again 
by Johnson. Second consecutive block by Johnson. This is Peoples. Blocked from behind by Morris. He gets his own rebound and follows. And all the red shirts and Shell just couldn't get back. This is the beneficiary here of a little chippy hanging. That was a no-no in our playground. How about yours? <laughs> Absolutely. Everybody had to get back unless you had the injury. But they challenge shots. All the big people are attracted to the basketball, and that ignites their opportunity breaks. Walter Hurd taking a seat, a transfer student who came from Johnson C. Smith and was the second leading scorer in the nation at Division II with a 28 point per game average. Morning belongs to Skin Bracer Aftershave. Its cool, brisk tingle really gets you going. And what a great scent. Skin Bracer. No better way to face the day by day. If I want to keep playing baseball, I'm going to have to keep working. There's no off-season anymore. And when I get sore, I take Advil. To last, you stick with what works. Advil. Advanced medicine for pain. Freedom. It's the spirit which moves the Cutlass Supreme, a car intelligently engineered to free your eyes, your hands, your senses. Introducing the new Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. The look may change, but the spirit remains the same. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. The Oldsmobile drive to the Final Four Celathon. It's your best shot for a great deal now. You're about to see how Goodyear is changing all-season driving right before your eyes. Introducing AquaTread, only from Goodyear. AquaTread's advanced design channels water out of your way for dependable all-season traction, especially in the rain when you may need it most. AquaTread, the newest reason why we say the best tires in the world have Goodyear written all over them. Today, the losers go home, but the winners are going to the Final Four. The madness continues. March Madness today on CBS. The Civic Center here in Springfield, Massachusetts, the site where the tip-off classic was held at the top of the season, Indiana and UCLA. That rematch will be coming your way later today here on CBS. Mm. And Indiana will have to play a lot better, huh? Here's the zone, and they're a little, a little bit late. Taggy Morris is a fine open shooter. Wills, a quick leaper, goes up and scores. And Billy, I gotta be honest, a little surprised that Steve Wills, at only 190 pounds, is battling so effectively inside amongst the bulk. Well, don't forget, with zone, you don't have that tagging ability. You don't have the responsibility in the checkout situation, but he's a slitherer. Those light people able to maneuver in traffic and also he's good at flashing so it's tough to understand exactly where he's located wills with five points on the afternoon 15 35 left in the first half of play bridgeport on top by three in a full court trapping mm -hmm. defense first time one two one one matthews misses shot and Billy it looked oh. to be an excellent block that time as Troy Phillips went up for the for the final. They anticipate Jay the officials when big guys go up the block figure it this has got to be a foul but good position both front and back and unfortunately for Bridgeport they get tagged with it but nice attacking unfortunately they've given a couple of offensive opportunities which they can't afford to to Lambert Shell, this first personal foul. And boy, you talk about quality players. Look at this program and some of the likes they produce. Charles Oakley, Terry Davis, A.J. English with the bullets. And Manu Bola. <laughs> How did English get in there? Right? You figure with this front line, Oakley went here, but Manute, a 
rather carved a rather large figure in the <laughs> annals of Bridgeport. Bowl, of course, from Bridgeport, as you mentioned. The others from Virginia Union. Quick. Nice pass. Good idea and execution by Shell to Jones. JB, they're a terrific inside passing team, but Virginia Union isn't bad either. Billy, I guess if you were to classify this as a, a fight, it would be the Sugar Ray style, if you will, for Bridgeport against the Marvin Hagler power for Virginia Union. Well, if this were a fight, there would be no pay for you. <laughs> These big guys in Virginia, who's going to fight with them? But yes, I agree with you. Attempted pass by Russell. Derek Russell to hit the glass. This is Aaron Gosa, the point guard. Over to Johnson, and Johnson connects. That's a great story with that hand, JB. The stitches, and not able to have the range wearing the blue glove. But he can make that 15-footer, they tell us, but that hasn't been able to move out too much. Johnson, number 33 for Virginia Union with the glove, covering up some stitches in that hand. Rebound by Johnson, glove and all. This is Gosa. Derek Russell, Winston Jones, Pat Morris, Lambert Shell, and Steve Wills, the five in white for Bridgeport. This is Morris, and he connects for two. Pat Morris drops in his seventh point of the afternoon, and it's an 18-15 Bridgeport lead. Oh, so save that one. The press is effective. Mike Matthews off the glass. Matthews, a guard. At 6-3 for Virginia Union, showing good speed. What he brings in is scoring ability. Here's the 2-3. They step out and then try and get support baseline, which they certainly did that time. <laughs> Blocked by Derek Johnson. Matthews. In and out, Johnson, powerful rebound and follow. Actually, they're getting down when they beat the press, and if they don't convert, here to affect their half-court action helps them. They're able to get the offensive rebounds. And if, if Union didn't have enough big guys on the floor, Dave Robbins sends in more reinforcements. Dave Robbins, talking about his guys who are playing in the NBA, says the guys used to call them collect all the time before they reach the NBA level. <laughs> now that they're doing relatively well, no more collect calls. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing fine without him. He's done a marvelous job with this program. He's had worked within the community there prior to getting the job and was accepted quickly, correct? Absolutely. Beefy reinforcements in for Virginia Union. <laughs> little shove there. Heads up play by the taunter, Steve Wills. Likes to get a little woofing going on during the game. Got a tee last night. In the vernacular, woofing is what well, Bill. Well, uh, getting into people's faces. <laughs> Fishers don't care for it much anymore. With a little conversation about the stock market, <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, reflecting on family ills. There's one of those beefy reinforcements. Robert Mackay for Virginia Union in red. 260 pounds. Let us say how they push the white shirts right under the tin. So they're in position for the offensive rebound. Nice slip. And a good pass and shot at Shell. Jones with a great look. Little excitement in the game. They'll clear out for him. Little spark that Bruce has off the bench. First basket of the afternoon for Lambert Shell, averaging 23 points on the season. Number 42 in white for Bridgeport. Again, playing on a tender right ankle. Look and there's this. a big, powerful move by Tim Davis. 6'8", 245 out of Richmond, Virginia, only a sophomore. And you were trying to figure out why they called him Duke, huh? I think it's pretty obvious oh, now. Huh? He can <laughs> be physical and poke with the best. Will. Nice. Gosa with the tag. Well, he's played well early. This is a team that you have to consider one of the great stories if they're able to ever get through today. You got to think of UTEP in Division One in I guess '66, and you got to think of in '69 maybe the Orioles losing to the Mets. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a, this is just an incredible performance. The underdog, according to most people, all along through the tournament, and then without Shell today, able to hang tough. Shell at his best, I should say. Taking a seat on the bench for Virginia Union is Leo White back into the game is Reggie Jones, number 33. At the line now for Bridgeport, number 33, Steve Wills. 
and Wills connects. A three-point play by Steve Wills. He's got eight. Bridgeport's down by one. Wouldn't it be great if your blind date, Rachel, turned out to be Rachel Hunter, the international model, and you had a romantic dinner at the beach with beer, really great beer, like Keystone Light, and things went really well. So you had Rachel build you a beach house, as it turned out that Rachel was a great little homemaker. Cold filter, Keystone, Keystone Light, and Keystone Drive. Bottle beer, taste in a can. So what's left to do? Then a shingle in the roof. I'll do that in the morning. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? It's all been thought out, all engineered, precisely where you want it. So where would you put a cockpit like this? In a rocket, of course. Introducing a Chiba by Oldsmobile. Never has so much thought gone into this much fun. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. The Oldsmobile drive to the Final Four Celathon. It's your best shot for a great deal now. Ever wonder why your face hurts after you shave? It's simple. When you shave, you lose face because you strip away the moisture that's there to protect it. And that hurts. But now you can start saving face with new conditioning hydrogel from Allspice. Used every day, it adds moisture and keeps it there to help defend against the assault of shaving so your face feels and stays that way. So why lose face? Start saving face with Allspice Conditioning Hydrogel. Potato chips are going to cross your lips, keep them fresh, make them fine all the time. That's Pringles, pop the Pringles. Not like chips in a bag, they don't stay fresh, it's a brag. Candles bag with busted pieces, get your hands full of greases. We've got whole go, crunchy go, chips, go, go, clean and crispy go, go, to your lips. Go. Pringles, pop the Pringles. Go for fresh because Pringles go, got them. Go, fresh, go. pop right to the bottom. Once you pop, you yeah. can't, you can't, you can't stop. Why is Henry Kissinger so upset? Maybe he thinks we know more about him than we do. Do we? Watch 60 Minutes, Sunday. The hunger for a championship is the same at the Division II level, despite the accoutrements. And let me tell you, it is not first class <laughs> indeed as you look at the locker room. <laughs> the hook. <laughs> the tape number up there. One shower for the players per locker room. Uh, JB, I can relate. You know, no soap. Bring your own towel. The coach drove the bus, taped the legs, did the publicity. All of the equipment blew up the balls, and on alumni night, the alumni called and boycotted it when I was coaching. <laughs> and parents night, they canceled on me. But this is what it's all about. I think everybody who's coached or played has been through the rigors of struggling, but yet believing in something, something bigger than that type of locker room. And the kids could care less. They're thrilled to be here and trying to make a statement with their play. You know, John Wooden, as a matter of fact, at UCLA had to go through some hardships, sweeping the floor and mopping the floor before practice himself. <laughs> well, he didn't have to do it later on at UCLA, did he? For 17 years, he did. Here's that glass attack by Virginia Union. It continues. Lamont Jones over to Keith Hanley. So it's Mars, Hanley with the ball, Lamont Jones, Steve Wills, and Lambert Shell with the ball now. Nice move by Lambert Shell against the ball. Sure was that he hides as they did last night without him along the baseline. Hanley will stretch the defense with his shooting ability. Now you talked about John Wooden. I can remember my days at Seton Hall. My wife asked me to take out the trash, and I said, you know, John Wooden, I'm sure, doesn't have to do this. She said, well, if you won like him, I'd take it out, too. <laughs> <laughs> a little post-cut. An Auburn guy. We talked about Virginia Union's size with Oakley. But down the other end, Shell on a bad wheel. A guy that everybody that I know in New England raved about. This is the kiss, JB. Mm -hmm. He's active. He can shoot it. And as noted, invited to that East-West All-Star game during the Final Four by the NABC, National Association of Basketball Coaches. As a matter of fact, Shell is the only Division I player invited. As a matter of fact, Bill, per year, only one Division II player is invited. Shell is the guy this year. Robert McKay at the free throw line, the junior forward for Virginia Union at 6'8" and we'll be kind and say 250, but it's more like about 260. Yeah, he hasn't passed up too many opportunities to dine, I don't think. 
a transfer from Auburn, and uh, I don't know about handling the Shack right now. The Shack's gotten a little bit better, but the Auburn guys, uh, Barkley in person, uh, pretty big people as well. Nothing little about them at all. Standard 2-3 zone for Virginia Union, and Bill, just a little different wrinkle from this 2-3 this zone versus others. Well, he calls it a circle zone, but they haven't done it yet, J.B. That's where they come out on the wing, and then they have the middleman play the corner, but right now they're trying to stay at home in their plane zone, and that will make the move a little. Russell able to convert. Derek Russell finding the home as he drops in his fifth point, a 28-25. Purple Knights lead, 9.50 left in the first half, and a turnover by Peoples, and it goes to Bridgeport. This club doesn't go away. They know away with their pressure. They take advantage of their team speed and their ability to cover the floor. No question about it, never say die is an appropriate expression for the University of Bridgeport. Small, quick guards out front for Bridgeport right now. And Jones, number 22 with the ball, Lamont Jones, and Derek Russell, number 11. Winston Jones in the middle, along with Steve Wills and Lambert Shell. This is Winston Jones. Oh. The follow, nice tip by Wills. Wills. The quickness, go. yeah. Now they've been able to pick holes in that zone. I think I heard out of Amanda Childs, played for the Gauchos and Riverside. Very confident player. Good speed to the ball, JB. Mm -hmm. Good recovery. Yet to score, though, Walter Hurd, averaging 15 a game. The leading scorer for Virginia Union. And as I mentioned, he came from Johnson C. Smith, where he averaged 28 points a game. Said he wanted to learn how to play. Doesn't get a basket yet. Lamont Jones. And it goes down the other end. Well, I tell you, you'll always see hustle from a Dave Robbins coach team. Well, they're, what they're interested in these kids is proving that they belong. They read about the Division One guys, and that's the effort. How important the game is to these individuals. They're giving it up, huh? Peoples, Mike Matthews. Nice Phillips high low. Inside to Johnson. Johnson collects himself and scores. They've got so many people that can catch in traffic, and they're unselfish. I mentioned Bridgeport's inside passing. Jimmy Newton does it nicely as well. Shell in and out. Wills rebound. Blocked by Johnson. Johnson is doing a nice job. Five rebounds, three blocks, and he's three of four from the floor for six points. Wow, nice pass. Reggie, <laughs> uh, bad hand and all but their ability to negate shots makes it awfully tough to finish sequences. I mean, they'll get you thinking with hurries, and then at the other end, the man who's had the difficulty with the stitches, but this is just great inside defense. And they're all around the hoop, aren't they, JB? No doubt. You take a look at Derek Johnson, Charles Oakley, and he keep in contact with each other quite a bit. And he really has helped them in the uh, offseason. And here is Reggie Jones at the free throw line. You get to take a look at that glove he's wearing on that right hand. And Bill, as we mentioned before, he took some stitches, and he's wearing that as a protective measure. And it looks like a golf glove, JB. Uh, we can relate, huh? With our inability to perform. <laughs> nice ball fake. Rebound by Peoples. Five rebounds for Peoples. Nice, nice steal by Russell. Lamont Jones. Shell is really offering it up. He made that play work by getting out in the middle of the floor. Bad foot and all. And Steve Wills, Paul, with the hammering foul. Second personal on Steve Wills. 7.34 left in a half. Tie ball game at 30 apiece as we take a TV timeout. All knotted up. The Women's Final Four, next weekend on CBS. Everyone has a dream, a vision deep inside. With all the mutual funds out there, I needed an easy way to help me compare them. We make it easier to follow your own lead. With Schwab's free mutual funds performance guide, 
I can compare track records on over 500 funds. Always there to give you just the help you need. Help yourself at Schwab today. McDonald's introduces the return of the Wild West. May I take your order? Yes, ma'am. I reckon you can. For a limited time, rustle up a saucy, sassy McRib. Or a Western Omelette McMuffin for breakfast with peppers, onions, and ham. Or try a satisfying 99-cent chicken fajitas or 99-cent breakfast burrito. Howdy, boys. What you want is what you get. Mind if I join you? At McDonald's today. For years, you've depended on State Farm to insure your car. But did you know you can also depend on us to protect your family's future? State Farm. We sell life insurance. Dear Thompsons, I swear by Thompsons Water Seal, but recently when it ran out, my son finished with another brand. Then it rained. What a difference. Thompsons beat it up, the other brand nothing. Thanks for a product you can believe in. Marvin Snotty, Locust Grove, Virginia. Why can't van doors swing open instead of slide? Why do minivans handle like trucks? Why can't they feel more like a car? This is what the engineers at Mazda wondered when they designed the MPV. Because when you ask better questions, you tend to come up with better answers. Why does your door do that? The MPV from the new Mazda. It just feels right. You are watching the NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. Score is tied as we take a look at the game summary and some nice action from the cheerleaders of Virginia Union. Derek Johnson has been a strong man in the middle. Six points, five block shots. And Raf, talk about an up and down pace on the game here. Well, you think you have it going a little bit, and they do run a nice opportunity break, but negated by Derek Russell and out in the open floor. Lamont Jones pretty darn good. And we mentioned the difficulty of Lambert Shell. Well, he was out there as well. I think the pressure has been effective for Bridgeport and those seven offensive rebounds for Virginia Union have certainly helped their cause. Quickness of Bridgeport against the size and strength of Virginia Union and we're all tied at 30 apiece, 725 left in the first half of play. Playing for the Division II Championship as the basket is dropped in by Warren Peoples. He's got seven. Nice take advantage shot so he had the size over Russell. I'm just saying the foul line has been open. Mm -hmm. Lamont Jones for three. Rebounded by Mike Matthews. Got in trouble trying to get rid of it. And Reggie Jones, the outlet man. Virginia Union last won the national title back in 1980. Knocking off New York Tech, 80 to 74. As Johnson goes up, the follow tip in by Reggie Jones, but offensive interference. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, a great player years ago was Cleo Hill. And uh, he, Al Adels is another old friend who played, and we used to play in the summer. And Cleo Hill could go up there. And he was the first one I ever saw. Of course, that flag, Cleo played down there. Cal Irvin, another friend of mine at North Carolina A&T, used to rave about some of these kids. Now, these kids go after it. No doubt about it. It's not going to lay up there for somebody to just pick off. you got to play above the rim. CIAA has always spawned some excellent basketball, excellent brand of ball, and players. Blocked from behind. On the sideline there, JB. Amadi Penn is going up for the shot, but had it blocked. And speaking of excellent brand of basketball coming your way, we'll have it. Here on CBS, the NCAA road to the Final Four continues. UCLA will be taking on Indiana. And as we mentioned, those two teams met at the top of the season right here during the tip-off classic. Nice little kiss. Uh, Winston Jones. What kind of shot was that, Smooch. <laughs> but Bobby Knight's team a little bit different now, JB, with their strong man-to-man. -man. I think UCLA is going to have to run their half-court set sets in exquisite fashion. And believe it or not, UCLA, a different ball club now as well, playing poised and smart ball. Mm -hmm. Three-pointer is good. Mike Matthews for Virginia Union. Five points for Matthews off the bench. Shell, pull-up jumper, wow. gets the roll. 
Yeah, I'm he, impressed on a bad wheel. He did that with that old thing called heart. And, uh, Willis Reed always jumps to mind, as we said, coming out dragging that leg in, and Will Chamberlain looking down saying, oh my goodness, this is going to be a tough thing. All he made was a couple of baskets, but it was enough. And a nice shot Reggie Jones. by Reggie Jones, glove and all. Yeah. Reggie Jones has nine points. He averages seven on the season. They moved it out a little bit, JB. They said they're going to have to redo the hand. The stitches have broken open. Penn gets the drop. Amadi Penn, a 6'8 forward center out of Brooklyn, New York for Bridgeport. Well, it's obvious Bruce trying to get guys in to save his people for the second half. All the energy being dissipated, competing against these wide bodies. And a tactical point here, Billy, to note as well. Three games in less than two and a half days, the bench for either team could prove to be a major asset. It sure, and you know, you think though as a kid, you played every day. Can you believe that? All day. <laughs> and if you lost, the guys you played with killed you. Peoples off the mark. Had a hand in his face from Lambert Shell. This is Derek Russell. Didn't Double clutches. <laughs> and the smallest man can get the follow. Reggie Jones with the big rebound. Peepers into Johnson, double team. Shell with the rebound. Amadi Penn had a hand on that one. Steps. Shell gets the shot. Uh, NBA type of continuation. Wow, is he an aggressive offensive player? I mean, in pain, with crutches last night, celebrating as he threw them to the floor. Now well, he kept that pivot foot, JB. Nice step through, not a jump stop. A one pivot foot move. That, that one pivot foot move, nice continuation. Heady player. And the substitutions continue as we talked about the bench coming in to play. Robert Mackay, Walter Hurd. Aaron Gosa, Tim Davis, and Reggie Jones, the five for Virginia Union in red. This is Lambert Shell at the free throw line. And Shell picks up his ninth point, one more, and he will have tallied 3,000 points for his career at the University of Bridgeport. Now between us, we wouldn't have had that, JB. No doubt. I threw it up that many times, though. <laughs> nice little kick out. The big fella, the Duke, oh. Tim Davis. Just killing people, aren't they? They hold off well on the weak side rebound. You're not going to move them. Another Charles Oakley, protege. I noticed you spent a lot of time with Tim. Is that out of fear or respect? Or a both? lot of respect. <laughs> Shell. Makai with the rebound. You won't find Virginia Union going to the three-point shot that often. On the season, at the end of the regular season, only 216 threes attempted. But a good shot by Hurd as Walter Hurd scores his first basket of the game. He's One of six from the field. A little trap out of it, JB. He's a key guy for them. If he gets going, stretch the zone, you can dump it down. And Hurd, again, the leading scorer on the season for Union with 15. Jones with the rebound. James, that was that circle D and they got out a little bit late. Mars did not knock it down. Jones, what a stroke. You know what? He may have to continue wearing Play with that the glove. glove. He said a, a new trend in fashion. I don't think he can help the stroke with a glove though. He's four points above his season's average in the first half with 11. Not a good one. And yet another rebound. Six rebounds for Reggie Jones. Nice move by Gosa. And the big fella, Makai, <laughs> took the 260 pounds in the air. Airborne. Holy FAA. A better move. Nice little look. It's an eight-zip run by Union. Morris finally breaks the score route. He's got nine. Uh, James Gosa does up tempo. Virginia Union a little bit changes their whole outlook. Heard up front a little bit now on the wing. And they do play small once in a while. Yeah. Jones is feeling it with the Michael Jackson glove. 
tell you, they would have checked the glove, just like in a prize fight. <laughs> what might they find? Oh, a little radar in there. <laughs> Jones with 13 first half points, 130 left in a half. Penn with the rebound. This is Mars. And it's the quickness of Bridgeport serving it well inside. State Farm presents the rules of the game. Today's topic, principle of verticality. Many times, defensive players jump in the air trying to defend an opponent. When this happens and contact occurs, is it a foul? State Farm sells life insurance. And when we start you out with a life insurance plan, our job is just beginning. You see, we're there after you buy the policy, keeping in touch as your life changes, listening, explaining, answering your questions, helping you keep your life insurance plan up to date as your needs change. State Farm agents are there to start you right, and we're there to keep things right for the people you love. State Farm sells life insurance. This play is not a foul. The principle of verticality allows a player to jump straight up, and as long as his hands aren't used illegally, it's not a foul. Rules of the Game has been sponsored by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They take stuff, and they squish it all together. Ah! Why the strange rumors about Tropicana Twister? It's not squished. It's from a spring in France. Tropicana Twister, deliciously tempting flavor combinations Mother Nature never dreamed of. Wild flavors. <coughs> like orange, strawberry, banana. Well, why don't you just put some broccoli in there? Tropicana Twister, flavors Mother Nature never intended, but should have. And they make you drink it. Your breakfast, sir. This new Kellogg's Frosted Bran is quite sensible. Crispy flakes with whole wheat and bran, lightly frosted for a taste. A taste that's delicious! I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I love it. <clears throat> and new Kellogg's frosted bran has less sugar than you'd imagine, but the taste, it's out of sight. We've got to stop serving this. <laughs> new Kellogg's frosted bran, wildly delicious, sensibly good. American Fred Couples, he's been dominating the tour. Now he goes after a tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS. Virginia Union leading 47-41 as you take a look at the clean heads of the Panthers. Uh, Troy Phillips uh, was the barber for the group. I'm sure he got a reasonable tip, but they did this, and according to Walter Hurd, they had been fighting and pushing and a little arguing in practice, and they did it for a character reason, a bonding. And they said, we don't know what Division One guys do it for, but we just say, let's put it all aside. If you're on the bench, be a cheerleader. If you're involved in the game, contribute. So, nice well, little uh, <laughs> gesture. Coming up at the half, a special look at how the closing of the University of Bridgeport has affected the lives of the basketball team and indeed the students. That'll be coming up at the half. I tell you, the students have found plenty to rally around and feel good about with this basketball team here and its success. Lambert Shell. Bad will and all, and there. And it's tight on the inside. And he came out of it okay. Coming up after the game today, the road to the Final Four. We'll set you up for today's two regional finals, Indiana and UCLA, Kentucky against Duke. And LSU coach Dale Brown comes in to defend his coaching moves in last week's loss to Indiana with our roundtable experts. And I'm not so certain that defense is what's really needed because certainly on that one call about taking Shaquille O'Neal out, it was pretty clear that the big fellow was tired and he asked to be taken out. A little turnover in the open court against the pressure and Bridgeport gets the ball back. Nice inside passing ability. Once again, I mean, they, they're not afraid to go to the hole. I mentioned Shell, though, he is not himself. I mean, just a little tender, I'm sure, as he steps down to thrust forward. Substitutions continue for Virginia Union as Sam Potter and Aaron Gosa take a seat on the bench. Winston Jones at the free throw line. He's got six points. Make it seven. Played very well last night. 
Really hits the glass well for this club. That he did, Billy. He had 11 points. Mm -hmm. And that come from behind victory last night over top rank. California University of Pennsylvania. And how disappointing for them. Great, great season. Strong season. Oh, it's sad. Only one team works out happy, though. Well, it's been a good brand of basketball we've seen the past couple of days here. Solid, excellent coaching. Guys involved. And this team here, they know their strengths. Get it down to the box, and usually something positive happens. Literally, mm. they know their strength. That was Tim Davis with the drop in. He's got six. 49-43, Union on top, 27 seconds left in the first half of play. Now, Shell's a one-man zone the way he penetrates, and you got Lamont Jones in there, another guy that can go, and Morris on the wing, a great three-point shooter. Bridgeport lost in the championship game last year to North Alabama, trying to take it this year. This is their third crack at it. Shell way off the mark. Virginia Union took third place last year in the tournament and its last title back in 1980. Five seconds left in the first half of play. Heard. Mm. Nice pass. Can't get the score. And we come to the end of the first half of play. Virginia Union on top, 49-43. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Division II Championship game is sponsored by Microsoft, making personal computing easier. Kellogg's, proud sponsor of our 1992 U.S. Olympic team. And by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Point of fact. It takes the average person an average of 20 keystrokes to do an average task with their PC. Counterpoint. You can do it with just a point and click with Microsoft Windows. Microsoft Word for Windows is so easy, it just takes one click to make your work look twice as good. Microsoft Word, the word processor for Windows. When life turns up the heat. Hello? Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Jeff Green. There's Degree Antiperspirant, Degree's body heat activated. One more minute. To release extra protection. Jeff? Hi. Degree, your body heat turns it on. Love her, hold her, and remember our simple formula. At Dean Witter, we measure success one investor at a time. To play well in a game, I have to be prepared to make quick decisions. It's important that you be prepared to make the right decision about drug use. Think about it then make the right decision and don't use drugs. If you or someone you know needs help or information concerning drug abuse, call this toll-free number, 1-800-662-HELP. This message provided by the NCAA. This is CBS. Hey, look at Capital Truck Center's selection of family fun vehicles. They're big, comfortable, and carry all the gang. They go everywhere. Quality American-built GMC trucks that are fun to drive. Those world-class GMC trucks just can't be beat. So come on, shake the blues, get ready for all that family fun this summer. Capital has a great selection of GMC trucks at doggone good prices that won't break your family's budget. Capital Truck Center, we're the truck experts and we care. If you've been injured in an accident or you know someone who has, pay close attention to this announcement. Hi, I'm Rod Sager, an attorney handling personal injury cases. I make it a point to personally work with each of my clients to ensure that they recover what is rightfully theirs. With over 19 years of legal experience, I know what it takes to help you win the best possible settlement. And you pay no legal fees if there is no recovery. Contact the law offices of Rod Sager at 355-7435. At the half in Springfield, Massachusetts, Virginia Union and Bridgeport, 49 to 43. And 
Hi again, everybody. I'm Pat O'Brien, along with my partner, Mike Francesa. We have an apartment right up there. Yeah, in the we balcony, need one. By the way, let's uh, quickly set up the lineup for the rest of a busy college basketball Saturday here on CBS. After this uh, game, Mike and I will be joined by Bill Walton and Digger Phelps for some tourney talk. At 4.42 Eastern Time, Indiana and UCLA will tip off the West Regional Final. At stake, a ticket to Minneapolis in the Final Four. Let's go out to New Mexico now and set the stage. And hello, everyone. Welcome to Albuquerque. Greg Gumbel along with Quinn Buckner. And as we look ahead to this game between UCLA and Indiana, Quinn, let's talk about the Hoosiers first, a team that is clearly better than when it lost its last regular season game at Purdue. Well, as is usually the case with a Bob Knight team, they get better as the season goes on, and they have done that. They shoot the ball a lot better than they used to. They rebound it better, and they're scoring more points. But they've had two players step up, particularly Eric Anderson has started to shoot the basketball great from the outside, which opens up the inside game. Calvert Cheney, everybody knows he can shoot the basketball, but where he started to help the team is he's rebounding the basketball, and when he does that, Indiana is a much better team. I think they're playing as well as they've played all year right now. Indiana has no small task ahead of it. The UCLA Bruins have lost just four times all season long, and you can attribute that to the play of the M&M boys. Well, they've got two guys that play as well as anybody from the forward spot, particularly UCLA has never had two forwards to score like these guys. And Don McClain, you're talking about a guy who not only can shoot the basketball, he's really starting to come up and rebound the basketball. Every time they needed one, he can do that. The other guy, Tracy Murray, has NBA range. I mean, he shoots it long, but he's also starting to pass the basketball. And when he does that, now you don't know how to guard those two guys, and they make UCLA a great basketball team. I think they can make a legitimate run at the championship. UCLA has 10 national championships to its credit in its history, but none since the Johnny Wooden days. When Quinn talked to Coach Jim Herrick, he asked him what it would mean to him to reach the Final Four. Quinn, I'm the sixth coach to follow John Wooden, and none of them lasted four years. And you ask me what it means? <laughs> well, there's what it means, uh, Mike Francesa. Those are the coaches, Bartow, Cunningham, Brown, Farmer. A lot of them had a miserable time there with the expectations. I thought Bartow and Cunningham, the pressure of following Wooden was impossible. I thought once Hate Larry Mayo Brown, all, yeah, yeah, I thought once Larry Brown took the kids in 80 to the championship game and lost it, that took the pressure off. He could have stayed forever if he had wanted to, right. but like Larry Brown is, he always wants to move. But after that, I think it's just a case of trying to recruit players and West Coast basketball that has really held back the Bruins. At uh, 7 o'clock, what about the game, by the way? I think it's a great matchup. I think, you know, they met the tip-off classic. It's a different Indiana team. Indiana's toughness and their shooting ability could be the difference. Pat. At 7 o'clock Eastern time, as I started to say, we've got another 1-2 punch. Kentucky against Duke down in Philadelphia. And what about this one? You know, look at today. Duke and Kentucky, Indiana, UCLA, what kind of marquee matchups? These are four of the storied programs in the history of the sport. Again, the pace of the game will be key. If Kentucky tries to press Duke, I think that's going to be a big problem. A hundred trips to the tournament between these four amazing. teams. This it is, is amazing. Yep. Yeah, it's a good day for basketball. Back to our Division II game. There's one more half left for Bridgeport. One more half, period. And today's score will be a final in more ways than one. A weak economy and a blighted city have made it hard to attract new students. Bridgeport has no endowment to fall back on, and with operating funds practically non-existent, the school is now slated to go out of business after the summer semester ends. We try, um, our team is trying not to play on emotion. We go out there, our model this year is business as usual. Business as usual, if only life at the University of Bridgeport was that way. But it's not. There have been lockout strikes, declining enrollment, economic woes. Now it's time to close up and reorganize for a school, a coach, and a team. I guess my last paycheck is June 1st, and then I, I just hope that I have got something by that time. Soon, the Hall of Fame will be just a memory nobody knew to honor. Back in 1965, this was Coach Webster's first team. This year's team is his and the school's final. The water faucet in the gym is broken. The bleachers are packed away for good. The NCAA allows the players to transfer and not lose eligibility but a coach has to polish up the old resume. We are equally concerned uh, for our coaches, uh, like uh, Bruce Webster, who also is a uh, tenured faculty member, uh, as well as our professors of mathematics, English history, and so on. I don't have a godfather, because I've been by myself for so long, and uh, uh, it's hurting me, I guess, for recommendations for other jobs. Manute Bowl, a former player, sent out a letter of recommendation. So too did Texas coach Tom Penders. But you know how those letters go, to whom it may concern, and so on and so on. But Bruce Webster's first concern, 
is not Bruce Webster. We have nine kids that we got to place. Three or four of them have maybe more than 20 offers, and uh, uh, two or three of them don't have any. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen there. He told us, uh, every one of us, to just focus on basketball and don't worry about what's going to happen in the future because everything will take care of itself. The team has given a dying school a temporary but faint pulse. I hope they go all the way because it's one thing that's going to lift the school up, but I don't know, it seems like the, school, the damage has already been done. Indeed, for while yesterday's last-minute win was miraculous, the fighter miracle, this school, that coach, and this team are soon finished. I never had a group of kids so close. And I think all of the adversity um, got them close, you know? And um, they don't want that to end. He's thinking about his kids. There's got to be room for that guy somewhere, huh? Six winningest Division II coach in history, 54 years old. Somebody give him a job. Yeah, really. Uh, I'm going to get back to JB and Raft as uh, At the Half rolls on from the uh, halls of the most famous city to the Hall of Fame city here on CBS. There are two kinds of cars. The cars you love to drive and the cars you need to drive. The cars that really handle and the cars that handle the groceries. The cars you don't want to stop driving and the cars that make the stops you need. With standard anti-lock brakes and a 200 horsepower V6, Chevy Lumina Euro 3.4 is two kinds of car for one kind of driver. You. The cars more people depend on. And now it's easy to win with a heartbeat. Last the Energizer. They keep going and going. Thank you, doctor. I'm not a real doctor, but if I were, I'd recommend ligament for occasional muscle pain. Still going. Nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going. First time we met, I thought he's cute. I'd see him on campus and we'd talk. Then he asked me to this party on Saturday. It was a good party. But after he'd been drinking a while, he was out of control. And people are looking at me like, you're with this guy? I had someone else drive me home. From Red Grange to the modern grace of Olympian Tracy Corkins, the flavor and pageantry of all 21 men's and women's collegiate sports come alive at the NCAA Visitor Center. Come celebrate the magic moments in college sports at the NCAA Visitor Center. Open year-round in Kansas City. We'll return to the Springfield Civic Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. After this word from your local station, you're watching CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship. The tingle feels like it's taking away the dandruff. That's me taking the Denerex shampoo test. I love that tingle. It convinced me to switch from head and shoulders to Denerex. Denerex with conditioners, the dandruff shampoo you can feel working. I'm a Denerex guy now. Minute, no better way to face the day. The morning belongs to Speed Stick. It's 110% protection against wetness and odor that lasts all day. No better way to face the day. Bye, Maybe your first car shouldn't be a car. I was 18, didn't have a care. Working for peanuts, not a dime to spare. Get this Chevy S10 EL pickup with cash back for around $8,000. Chevrolet. The trucks you can depend on. The trucks that last. Monday. Rick? Is this Maggie's ex-lover? I detect a note of jealousy, Fleischman. Jealous me of a dog? You decide. Is this Rick? Northern Exposure. Monday. 
Have you ever dreamed you could fly? Now, for the first time ever, the world's greatest illusionist conquers the mystery of human flight without the use of wings, strings, or camera tricks. Then, get ready to touch your television screen and make the magic happen right in your own home. With special guest James Earl Jones, it's an all-new The Magic of David Copperfield. Flying Live the Dream Tuesday. This is CBS. You're on. Well, we know you like deep cuts, and you've also told us that there's too much repetition in Richmond Radio, so we've started No Repeat Work Days. With No Repeat Work Days, you'll never hear the same song twice between 9 and 5. That means you can listen to XL 102 all day long for the best variety of rock, and no repeats. Deep cuts, and now No Repeat Work Days. Thanks for the feedback, and thanks for listening to XL 102. XL 102, deep cuts, and now No Repeat Work Days. If you've been injured in an accident or you know someone who has, pay close attention to this announcement. Hi, I'm Rod Sager, an attorney handling personal injury cases. I make it a point to personally work with each of my clients to ensure that they recover what is rightfully theirs. With over 19 years of legal experience, I know what it takes to help you win the best possible settlement. And you pay no legal fees if there is no recovery. Contact the law offices of Rod Sager at 355-7435. WTVR-TV, Richmond, Virginia, Channel 6. Basketball Division II Championship Game is sponsored by Chevrolet, the cars and trucks more people depend on. Napa, because there are no unimportant parts. And by Nestle Crunch, chocolate is scrunches when it crunches. That's why you'll love Nestle Crunch. Virginia Union's defense has helped it to a six-point halftime lead. Back here at the Civic Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. James Brown along with Bill Raftery. And, Bill, we've got some basketball business to take uh -huh. care of, but we'll do that later. Let's play off of what the guys talked about in the studio, Bruce Webster. I mean, here's a guy, the winningest coach in New England Division I and II history, 63%, uh -huh. runs a clean program. It's a shame to see it suffer because of the school's woes. And he has to hustle and drive a limo where the Division I guys have a limo sent for them. <laughs> uh, he's kids have graduated uh, he's concerned about his players uh, the community likes him he's an excellent coach and he wins and it's really a struggle and of course the story where he had to go down to Seton Hall to pick up that seven thousand dollar check so they could buy uniforms and balls and pay for transportation as Hurd nails it uh, a tribute to him and his stick to it for his club and of course uh, that seat home, my wife had to go over and pick up the check once in a while. <laughs> With my one loss record, they sometimes turned her down. That really is an interesting story. After the third game of the season when Bridgeport played Seton Hall, the $7,000 check that was due to Bridgeport, Coach Webster couldn't wait for, took a car, drove up to New York City, picked up a check because they had to pay for the uniforms and the balls, again, because of the financial woes of the school. It's amazing, and he's never worked with priests, and he wasn't trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just, he loves the game, and he does have friends, and I'm sure somebody will see the job he's done. Without a doubt, without him. any of the resources that most coaches at the Division I level are accustomed to. And the bottom line, Billy, is he is a winner. And, and the kids, though, that's the big thing. He said, Billy, if you know of any of your pals, that are looking for underclassmen, let me know because I'll give them a nice report on the kids. They've done a marvelous job for us at Bridgeport. I want to see them successful. Oh! And a marvelous job on the boards has been the story for Derrick Johnson throughout the first half, and he continues in the second half. He's got eight points. They got to get something out of the press again. They've turned Virginia Union over, but they've got to get a little more score and make it a more frenetic pace, JB. I like that, frenetic. Well, those kind of passes don't help your pace. You can't cross court. Makes a coach frenetic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and besides that, throws him out of kilter. <laughs> and speaking of coaches, what a great job they've done. They've club successful. Robbins with a friend of mine on the staff too, Mike Walker, an old high school coach, and down there helping. Even get into the kids have these little incentive clauses to make them work a little uh, harder. Good kids, good yeah. program. Shell, short. Stays. Bridgeport. Block shots. I talked about Johnson having a whale of a half. Six block shots. Bridgeport is a team with only two. And it's been that defense, that stifling defense of Union. As a matter of fact, Union led the nation in field goal defense 37.3. 
Bridgeport, 37% oh. shooting from the field in the first half. Right on their number. And the zone that you mentioned early in the game, the circle zone, now they're giving up these kind of shots, but they're usually one and done. And a foul that time does in Lambert Shell. Really, there are some advantages to playing in Division II basketball. If you come transfer within Division II or from Division I to Division II, you don't have to sit out. Proposition 48 students who are predictors, while they have to sit out the first year, if in fact they have a 2.0 grade point average, but not the 700 board score, sit out the first year, but will have four years of eligibility left to play as opposed to three at Division I and no age limit. So that's that what I you, like. Hey. I can, how, about, how about a gray hair limit? I might have some difficulty there. Billy, let's go suit up. Well, it's been a great opportunity for guys who aren't happy or not doing well to transfer and, and lead successful athletic careers and get their degree. Here's the double down. Again, the ability of Virginia Union to find the big guys, and then they make good judgments, whether it's the finish or the kick out. And four quickie on Shell. Remember, JB, with only those nine points, one to go. For the 3,000 point mark for Lambert Shell. And again, the team really responded when Shell went down in quarterfinal play with that severely strained right ankle and won against Central Oklahoma, 127-124 in overtime, and then beat California University of Pennsylvania in the closing seconds last night in semifinal play, and now in the title game against Virginia Union. Union on top by 10. Well, James, emotion can carry you a long way, but the big bodies take away the emotion. They tire you down. Look at this tip over the top. It'll be credited mm. to Reggie Jones. And Winston Jones up as big as he could possibly be. As Lambert Shell taking it to the hoop. Lambert Shell obviously has forgotten all about that tender ankle of his. Now he's playing some aggressive ball going in traffic. He, he's not afraid. It's just that he's not possessing the foot speed. And certainly Bruce Webster is pleased with the official correction that Lambert Shell does not have four personal fouls. He has three instead. And Shell still looking for that 10th point to become a 3,000 point career score for the Purple Knights. Well, between us, we had that. You had two. 2,500, I should say, and I had five. And a lid on the basket. At the conclusion of today's game, we will select the Chevrolet players of the game. In conjunction with the award, Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to the General Scholarship Fund of both schools. And JB, the zone now being picked apart a little bit. Bruce may have to make a decision for his Bridgeport club, whether to come out or mix it up, trap them a little. They gotta shake this, look at the power. If nothing, the kick out. Huh? <laughs> just Johnson, just a man inside. Derek Johnson throwing his weight around nicely. He's got 11 points and eight rebounds. A little trap of their own out of their two three. Russell, nice pass to Winston Jones. Nice breakdown of the zone with the bounce. And just unable to get some stuff now. Maybe the quick shot that they'd like to force Virginia Union out of their press, backing it up. Winston Jones with 12 points on the afternoon. Now this Bridgeport squad can never be counted out. Man to man, first time. Mm -hmm. Changing deep. Yeah, yeah, you just can't sit back. Bruce been around long. You don't win all his games by sleeping. Now, what do you think about the, going the, to man? Well, I, I think they're trying to just give him a different look, but it becomes a real power game now. You see the help and pretty good coordination there. Good help by Steve Wills. Lewis comes awfully close to those, or Russell, excuse me, those cross court passes. So this is a better, clearer matchup, if you will, of speed versus power. Well, man to man defense. Ah! And the power of the dunk. Well, it's a gamble if you don't do it all the time, but you don't want to sit back and let them blow you out without giving them a different look. Nice pass. Winston Jones had to change up his shot. Not enough on it. And Union ahead 61-47, 15 minutes. Left in the game, and Union doing a mammoth job on the boards. And the fatigue right here is Heard drills it. He wants the ball. <laughs> he is a character. Eight points for Heard, and don't let him get uncorked. 
Once again, beautiful. Jones can't get the roll. Will or make it Wills with the follow. You know, Steve Wills, we talked about him being slender, quick jumper. NBA scouts here last night had some very positive things to say about him. And an old friend of both of ours, Will Robinson, who coached a guy by the name of Doug Collins. Mm -hmm. you know I Spencer Haywood at Pershing That's High. That's right, Pershing High School in Detroit. And now the Pistons scout, and he liked them. Uh, but the penetration, they found something now. Derek Russell able to get in the middle of things and create. So now they have to address the defense. Will's doing a nice job with the glass with five rebounds, and this is an attempt at point number nine. Big free throws by Wills last night down the stretch against California University of Pennsylvania. Brought the Purple Knights back within striking range, and in fact, they pulled away and won it. Wills with the second one, and what the scouts like was his heart and will to win. Hey, you took the job. Boy, are we glad you're here. It's been a nightmare. You know, we must have 10 different computer systems in this place. Good ones, too. But they just refuse to work with each other. Well, of course, you've dealt with worse problems. Yeah, we heard what you did at your last job. Getting all those different systems to share applications and databases. Nice tie. It's my boss. <laughs> hey, uh, maybe we could poke up later for lunch. Can you play racket for? Poker uh, Susan. This is Control. Go ahead. We've got trouble. What's the point of origin? Japan. Stand by. I'm patching you through to command center. We've got to find it. We'll have it tomorrow. Tomorrow's too late. Do you inform headquarters? The work on it. Hold on. We've got something. Quick, check the vehicle ID number. That's it. With more parts for more import cars than anybody else. We got it. Napa is a domestic solution to an international problem. If potato chips are going to cross your lips, keep them fresh. Make them fine all the time. That's Pringles. Pop the Pringles. Not like chips in a bag. They don't stay fresh. It's a brag. Candles bag with buster pieces. Get your hands full of greases. We've got whole go, crunchy go, chips. Go. Last year, the average price of a car with standard anti-lock brakes was over $40,000. But today, all that's changed. Because the company that offers more models with standard anti-lock brakes than anyone also offers the lowest price car in America with standard anti-lock brakes. Chevy Cavalier. The heartbeat of America. The cars more people depend on. That's today's Chevrolet. Sunken treasure beyond your wildest dreams. All you have to do is find it. Join the treasure hunt on 48 Hours Wednesday. We've got what looks like Final Four activity coming your way today here on CBS. Duke and Kentucky. And Indiana UCLA, as Mike Francesa said, four of the most storied mm. programs in all of college basketball. And you look back at Duke, Kentucky, the final in St. Louis, Arkansas, Notre Dame as well, and Jack Gibbons had 41 points against Mike Jeminski and Jim Spinarco. Remember that club? Mm-hmm. UCLA. I think they better be ready. Bobby's whip won't hurt them, but uh, the pressure defense could. And Jimmy Herrick has done a nice job at UCLA. He talked about himself being the sixth coach since John Wooden to try and do it as we get a 10-second violation call here, and it goes back over to Bridgeport. Jimmy Herrick has done himself a nice job out there, and it is a shame that one will be measured in terms of being successful at UCLA only with a national title. 14-22 left in the game here. The pressure worked, and now the offensive rebound certainly one of the few of late. They just got something out of the dribble, and they settled for the three. Heard. Nice layoff. Phillips. Oh. A little pizzazz on that one, JB. Lingering between floors. Phillips, a role player with nine points, averaging six on the season. He does the dirty work 
but he was rewarded that time. Uh, offensive foul, and that will be number four, Makai Lambert Shell. Nice position, JB. Well, we gave you the lineup of what was coming up today, Saturday's action here on CBS. On Sunday, it'll be the Bearcats of Cincinnati taking on Memphis State. Larry Finch's squad really playing well. Boy, well, they talk about capitalizing on mistakes. Well, they certainly know the confusing defenses of Cincinnati. It's he's hard away there. Is he ready? Mm -hmm. yeah, great, great talent. Born inside. Nice youngsters. Awful tough to beat clubs twice, much less four, huh? Yes, indeed. Cincinnati has beaten Memphis State three times this season. This will be the fourth meeting. Derek Russell on the break for the Purple Knights. And gets the kiss nice. off the glass. A direct kiss. I'm now they, sorry. That's they, your line. <laughs> that's all right. You sound good using it. Push the ball, quick shots that are good ones, and get something out of their press. And conversely, Virginia Union trying to beat it in pieces. And if a break shows, they'll take it. But good control here as they back it off. Billy, the quick, aggressive defense of Bridgeport has served it well. Do you think if, in fact, they want to stick with it, that maybe Lambert Shell should be out because of that bad wheel? Uh, they're going with him. I think they're paying tribute to him for the great year. but. That penetration initially by Reggie Jones was past Lambert and he showed his lack of mobility. Meanwhile, Phillips continues to do the job with 11 points. Shell can't get the drop. Here comes Hurd. Numbers, as you would say. Nice He's a solid player. Hurd had options. They're filling the floor. This time, dumps it off to Peoples. 70-51, Union out in front with the commanding lead, 12-10. More fatigue because of the punishing bodies, J.B. Mm-hmm. 12-05 left in the game. And I mentioned the Mets. Well, they need uh, Tommy A.G. or Tommy Seaver in this comeback. Same one of those great story book finishes. Mets over Orioles, UTEP. Mets are up front. Now they're in trouble. They're not getting much and turning it into good opportunities. Makai swatting Lamont Jones away like a man and dropping it in. Well, this is one powerful and smart Virginia Union ball club. And speaking of smart, this team picked up the academic trophy in the CIAA tournament, having the best grade point average of all 14 teams in the CIAA, so they can do it to you physically and mentally. If I want to keep playing baseball, I'm going to have to keep working. There's no off season anymore. Every day it's just me and a pile of iron or a bike I ride forever. And when I get sore, I take Advil. It's strong, it works, and I know it helps. And Advil's gentler on my stomach than aspirin. To last as long as I have, you got to stick with what works. That's why I use Advil. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. My hands were steady, my eyes were clear and bright. Chevy owners get all the brakes. My walk had purpose, my steps were quick and light. And I held firm to what I felt was right. Like a rock. Every 92 Chevy pickup, Astro, Suburban, and Blazer gives you anti-lock brakes standard. Chevrolet, the trucks you can depend on, the trucks that last. Oh, like a rock. Ever wonder why your face hurts after you shave? It's simple. When you shave, you lose face because you strip away the moisture that's there to protect it, and that hurts. But now you can start saving face with new conditioning hydrogel from Allspice. Used every day, it adds moisture and keeps it there to help defend against the assault of shaving so your face feels and stays that way. So why lose face? Start saving face with Old Spice Conditioning Hydrogel. Something is scrunches when it crunches.
superstars Bill Johnson, Phil Mayer, Franz Plummer, and more compete at the American Ski Classic Sunday on CBS. Virginia Union, a school founded in 1865 for emancipated slaves, a predominantly black school, is one of the more progressive-minded schools as you take a look at Vance Harmon, the only white ball player on this team, and he has said he has thoroughly enjoyed the experience there, Bill. And he went there for himself and had his family support, just wants to play with the JB. And I got a kick out of them talking in the locker room. Heard said that, uh, hey, they haven't seen you in the cafeteria much. Everybody misses you. He said, of course, you've got a lot of change in your pocket. <laughs> he can go to the better restaurants. <laughs> so a little locker room humor. Nice high-low, and that's the name of the game. Lance Harmon says he wants to get in. Coach Robbins acknowledges that he is the best three-point shooter on the team, but he's got to earn his way into the lineup, and that will probably occur next season. Well, if you launch threes with this front line, you, you know, you may be a good student, but you're not using your head. <laughs> Foul called on the inside as Winston Jones continues to work and pull the dirty work on the inside. A Virginia Union in the driver's position because of the bulk. The fatigue factor for Bridgeport, but pounding in Dave Robbins quality offensive people down low and he's taking advantage of them. Winston Jones a 68 percent free throw shooter on the season. We mentioned he played a big role in last night's victory with 11 points in place of the injured Lambert Shell. Morris with the rebound. And Winston Jones gets the tip. Up big. Well, the press is going to be the key. Do they have the legs against the team that deploys and handles? 15 points for Winston Jones. And boy, has this guy been emphatic. Derrick Johnson slamming home his 17th point of the afternoon. Derrick sending it in. Now off the dribble, the man to man ineffective in a sense, JB. They have, Big afternoon. Go ahead, they have to do some traps on the defensive end. Oh. And a tap. Who will they give it to, Wills or Jones? Give them one each. They both put their hand up. And they give it to Steve Wills. So Steve Wills taps in his 12 point. 76-58. Union on top. Under 10 to play for the Division II Championship. Good defensive job that time by Keith Hanley. Number 55 in white for Bridgeport. Reminds me a little bit of Chris Mullen. Mm -hmm. The lefty Zavarian and just dominating inside right now. Same school and in the stroke as well, but uh, he's got to put a left in the game to match Chris, I think. Well, that's true. I was about to come up because I'm sure if Chris heard that, <laughs> he might have not thought about it. <laughs> well, he's down in Jersey. Having a great year for Golden State. Don't forget, coming up after the game, the road to the Final Four with Pat O'Brien in New York. They'll set up today's regional finals for you. Indiana, UCLA, Kentucky, and Duke. Digger Phelps, Bill Walton, Mike Francesa, Pat O'Brien. And, of course, Dale Brown will be in there discussing his coaching with him. Little steps here. Ooh. Well, the preacher man will have a few things to say. <laughs> if he starts, they may not get a shot. <laughs> Battle for the boards between Johnson and Wills, and it stays down at this end. I think it's awfully nice he gets the opportunity to express himself, though, Dale Brown. I agree. You know, if he has a complaint. And, uh, you know, whether you agree with him or not, he's got his reasons for it, and he's been successful with it, his program. Yeah, you maybe get the, the, the impression I want to jump in on that round. <laughs> yeah. Go force well, my way in. Huh? I know you'd be a major <laughs> contributor. The three. Oh, and this is Winston where Jones, nice high jumping rebound, and he's fouled and score the basket. Well, they, they have come back, JB. This would be miraculous. Uh, this week here, you cannot shut them down. Trying to shake their crowd up, and that was one of the concerns of Dave Robbins, the crowd. But rebounding despite size differential, Winston Jones gathers 
completes and gets the tag. Lambert Shell back in replacing Keith Hanley and Robert Mackay in for Virginia Union replacing Derek Johnson. Winston Jones has been impressive. Score at 18. The team that won its third New England Collegiate Conference title is not folding. Now this is the end and they've been breaking down against the bounce. And you know that inside strength. Here's the high low. Bird, tough major league jumper with the lingering tips. Finger that is. Morris got away with the charging call. Or no call, shall we say. Now they use a series of cards to signal their players, JB. And they being who? Uh, they being Virginia Union in the tournament. Uh, I guess they felt that too much noise up here, so they started it last night to let the guys know exactly which call on offense and defense. And there were 2,800 people here last night making a lot of noise today. The attendance over 5,400. Oh, Makai set up residence <laughs> in that three-second lane. Boy, Makai. So you're not going to move him out. Way. No you're not going to move him out of his neighborhood. <laughs> Give him a new zip code. That basket is like a biscuit for him. He's going for it. Oh, oh. Nice move by Winston Jones. Tastes good. 20 points on the afternoon for Winston Jones, the high score for the Purple Knights of Bridgeport. Now you're always looking for people to step up. Shell, they took him out, put him back in. He's been quiet because of his injury. Look at this, go by. The Knights trailing by 16. They got the walk. walking violation. Signal by Robert Pugh. 7.27 when we come back. A tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS. Getting to know you. I drove literally every car in the same class, and uh, it boiled down to I wanted a Geostorm. Guys like a girl that knows how to drive a stick. There's 140 horses in here. Can you Hello, horses. The cockpit's laid out like a jet. You don't have to be a race car driver to drive a storm, but you sure feel like one. Get to know the new 140 horsepower Geostorm GSI right around the corner at your Chevrolet Geo dealers. Getting to know you. If this car had wings, it would fly. Where do you want to be next year? You know, I, I don't plan to be a partner in this firm forever. In fact, I've been doing something on the side that could be very rewarding. I have an offer to work full-time with some kids. Pays 11000 a year. Now, how can we restructure my portfolio so I can tell them yes? You can get there from here with Searson Lehman Brothers. Is that it? One second, son. To achieve superior results. Now? Don't be so impatient. You need superior tools. Since 1843, a company from New Britain, Connecticut, has been helping people do things right. Okay. Try it now. Finally. Stanley. All right. You know, someday these tools could be yours. How about the car, Dad? Stanley Mechanics Tools at leading retailers. Head and shoulders for my serious dandruff? Uh-uh. Blue is better. Extra medicated Selsun Blue. With a medicine doctors recommend most. Medicine that relieves flaking better than head and shoulders. Blue is better. Selson Blue, doctor recommended number one. Sunrise by Sun Chips. Sun Chips multi-grain snacks. Now an Harvest Cheddar flavor. A little sun never tasted so good. You are watching the NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. Coming up Sunday. Tomorrow, here on CBS, Cincinnati and Memphis State. And as we mentioned earlier, Cincinnati has beaten Memphis State three times already this season. They'll meet for a fourth time. And hey, here's a question for you trivia buffs. Name the only NCAA team that has ever beaten its opponent four times in one season. And we'll come back with that answer a little later. Now, I know some pretty good trivia buffs. Mike Frances is good. Jimmy Packer, Nance, Billy right? Packer, yeah. You did mention... Uh, 
myself or O'Brien, did you? Pat O'Brien and yourself? Hey, you guys <laughs> are masters at that. <laughs> well, it wasn't a team I coached, anyhow. I know that. Here's the good gamble outside and turns it into a jumper, and they become easier. It must be the glove. He's going to have to get into that glove shooting business, huh? If we see studs on the glove next year, next season, we'll know something. Well, Reggie Jones, I, I was impressed last night and uh, asked about him. They feel he's got to just toughen up a little, but he's a post-up guy. He goes to the hole, good with the bounce. He, to me, is one of the nice-looking prospects as a sophomore. Lambert Shell at the free throw line. A three-point play gave Bridgeport its last lead at 39-37, and Lambert Shell is scoreless since that point. Still looking for point three thousand, and he finally gets his three thousand career point. Oh, and the answer to our trivia question there: Kentucky over Alabama back in 1986. Now, be honest, Bill. You know the answer to uh, that one? Any wimp could get that one. <laughs> but how about 3,000 points, J.B.? Uh, Andy Wimp. <laughs> and for the uninitiated, the play, of course, on Wimp Sanderson, the coach of Alabama. Back to action here. 84-68, Union on top. 650 left in the game. The fight for the NCAA Division II Championship. And a title that Bridgeport has never won. Union won it back in 1980. A uh, Lambert Shell, 3,000 JB. There's the high low and the settling in the lane. The encampment by Mackay. Just a tremendous feat by that youngster. Terrific career. And unless they can churn it up. And this maybe be the last thing we'll remember the athletic annals of Bridgeport University. Not only the finals, but his great play and point scoring ability. Well, it has been a remarkable season for the Purple Knights, no matter the outcome. A group of players and coaching staff that stayed together, stuck together, and had a super season. Coming into the game today with a mark of 27 and 6. And ranked sixth in the nation. I thought Dave Robbins analyzes what a great story Bridgeport is, and I can't blame you guys for paying special attention to them. This play has been a big factor. Will's just out in. His stance a little bit too high, unable to open up and get around. You need a lot of quarters to get around Mackay. Double header action today here on CBS. NCAA tournament play UCLA and in Indiana. The m and boys of UCLA taking on the Hoosiers. And then Kentucky and Duke. Hey, Kentucky and Duke, I think now, I think I heard Mike Francesa mention in the studio that Kentucky may have problems if they try to press. Kentucky is a good ball club, especially with their ability to open up the defense with the threes. I don't think Duke's played a team that does this type of thing continually. I think Mashburn will be in the perfect position to dominate that low because you've got to attack people outside. It, it's, it's difficult and the matchup, too. And yeah. like Davis, does he play him or do you put Leighton around? I mean, that's Antonio Lang. Uh, it's a tough decision for Mike Krzyzewski, but he's pretty good at coming up with answers, isn't he? No question about it. And Virginia Union, pretty good at coming up with the ball as Makai inhales that loose ball. 87-68, Union on top, 5-23 to a national title. But taking advantage, just basic, strong basketball. Wills caught once again in a tough position to defend. Virginia Union blistering from the floor and holding Bridgeport to 37% shooting from the floor. And as I mentioned earlier, Virginia Union leads the nation in field goal defense in Division II at 37.3. And this man here, Johnson, 19 points, 9 rebounds, 6 off of the offensive glass. JB, that 2-3 zone, unusual. Not only in the corner, but the way they attack the shooter and still are able to bring the big guys up to take away that flash. It was open early. They haven't gotten it much anymore at Bridgeport. Billy, which says something about the agility and quick feet oh, of the big men for Virginia they, Union. Oh, they could go out and play any defense, I think. I think they do pretty doggone well at Division One as well. Uh, they're a club that you wouldn't want to play, right, if you're worried about your job security. 
Right now, a little worry on the face of Pat Mars, number 30 for Bridgeport, as he jammed his nose on the shoulder of Walter Hurd going for the steal. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. There they go. Inside to the big fella. Well, what can you do? That's century 22 when he sets up his house. <laughs> I tell you, is that about five acres of land that he has control over? <laughs> it's a plot. <laughs> and it thickens, too, uh, close to the supper time. 89-68, 421 left in the game. Steve Wills. And, Billy, you had mentioned that you thought the legs were getting just a little weary on the part of Bridgeport as Lamont Jones can't find the range on the three. Hey, three games again in less than two and a half days will take its toll. And, and the legs go on the shooting, and you're also reaching against a team like this. I mean, it's not only the strength and the quickness of this club, but you're reaching against them, and as you jump, you get a bump, and fatigue sets in. Warren Peoples, Walter Hurd, Derrick Johnson, Reggie Jones, Robert Mackay, the five for Virginia Union. And there's Mackay having his way inside. Now, Bill Russell used to talk about big guys in the middle like that setting up housekeeping. I mean, yeah, bring yeah, it up. without a doubt. Now with the Cleveland Cavs setting those picks, a wrestler used to just jump over them. As we take a look at Virginia Union substituting Eric Gear into the game, along with Duke Tim Davis, who's waiting to come in. As you take a look at the faces of the Purple Knights. The dream has gotten to the national title game. They were hoping to close out the last ever basketball program with the national title, but they have been victorious, as we mentioned, Bill, whether they win here today or not. It's an Olu situation. It's almost impossible against this wonderful team down low, Virginia Union. hours in a balloon how romantic five hours what about my diarrhea don't worry honey i brought the fermatine still going nothing outlasts the energizer they keep going and going not just white really white not just white really white when you want whiter white still you... going nothing outlasts the energizer they keep going and going there's a first time for everything. Your first love, first kiss, first date, first job, and your first new car. For more people, that first new car is Chevy Cavalier. A simple, solid value that'll get you through the changes until the next first time. Heartbeat of America. The cars more people depend on. And now it's easy to win with the heartbeat. You can say that Microsoft Windows makes the world a better place, a nation more productive. But really, Windows just makes your everyday work easier. Isn't that the point of personal computing anyway? Terry is impressed with the ease of Microsoft Word for Windows. But more importantly, the office is impressed with Terry. Microsoft Word, the word processor for Windows. You did use Crazy Glue, right? Right. Let me down. And it fixed everything here, right? Right. Oh. It didn't fix your broken promise, did it? Well, I said I was sorry. Let me down. No! <laughs> I just fixed that. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> did I mention only Crazy Glue has this Stay Fresh Crazy case? Yes. And if I ever get down... Hardly worry about that. Oh. I wonder if that last chap got down. Crazy Glue. For things that are broken. Except promises. See the world television debut of Hammer's new video, get a peek at the concert tour of the year, and an exclusive backstage look at Hammer from the heart, Friday on CBS. The cheerleaders from Union certainly have plenty to cheer about. The Panthers on top, 91-68 with 3.35 left as they head toward their second NCAA Division II title. And a championship wife, Judy Webster, the wife of head coach Bruce Webster of Bridgeport. 
She was in tears last oh, night. I'm so excited for her man and what's gone on. And this is a difficult day for them. The finality of it all. Of course, alongside was Ann Farris, the athletic director. But uh, Bruce never lost his sense of humor. In talking about the media coverage, he said everyone likes to cover someone's demise. <laughs> he is a classic guy. Well, it's been anything but that for this program on the court for certain. And, you know, they gave Seton Hall a tough game early in the year. Down at Seton Hall, we mentioned the money earned to play that particular game. Here's the spread and breakdown ability. Nice pass, nice idea on the part of Aaron Gosa. And Gosa does have some blow by speed. Davis, Duke Davis with the rebound. Well, we mentioned before as we get the blocking foul called on Lamont Jones, how the bench would play a role in this game, certainly in a three-day tournament, technically speaking, three days, but two and a half days, three games. Virginia Union's bench has contributed 25 points to only four for Bridgeport. So well, underscoring that point. Well, you mentioned quality, JB, and bulk as well. I mean, the fatigue factor just insurmountable at this stage after three demanding days. And you know, Brucey, great player at Rutgers, played some football as well with one of your pals. Mm. As we take a look at Pat Morris down at Fort Dix. Oh, oh yeah, Bob Mormon, the uh, ex-CIAA commissioner. Mm -hmm. Bob Mormon, who's here in attendance. And he's done a wonderful job <laughs> with the CIAA. And what did Bruce say to Bob? He said, you know, if we had this front line of Virginia Union, we would have won more football games <laughs> when you coach me as the quarterback on the base. You know, these guys are really out of uh, the Rick Mahorn mode. I remember when Mahorn played at Hampton, then Hampton Institute, now Hampton University. Of course, we talked about Charles Oakley. I mean, big, strong guys who could certainly play the game. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick was a championship ring with the Pistons, a little time with the Sixers. Started off with the Bullets, he and Jeff Rulin. Mm. What they call him down there? The Bruce Brother. Had a camp. And that will head down toward the other end. Into the game for Virginia Union, Terry Henderson, and number three, Vance Harmon. The young man who we said is the best three-point shooter on the team. And he says he wants to earn his way, not just be a novelty as the only white ball player on this squad whom the players and the student body have accepted quite well he wants to contribute on the court now he said he works hard you mentioned the three-point shooting i don't think you fool around in this program though if you can't play you'll certainly be banged around for it dave robbins and his staff all coleman up ahead to lamont jones double clutches and he's hacked by tim davis pretty well schooled team Mm -hmm. Good reaction to one another. Nice interplay. Nothing like a championship. To solidify it. Mm. Well, you know, Sports Illustrated comes out looking strong because preseason SI said that Virginia Union would be the number one team in Division II play. The theme of the year was reloading because last year they took third place in the national event here with four freshmen. When you look at this front line, I know what they mean by reloading. <laughs> Carbohydrates, Ooh, pasta, carbos. <laughs> but it actually should have been termed more in the bag. And that's the case today. 94-75, Union on top, 126 remaining. The coordinating producer of NCAA basketball on CBS is Bob Dekas. Today's Division II championship game was produced by George Varis and directed by Andy J. Kendall. The senior producer of CBS Sports is Ed Gorin. The executive producer of CBS Sports is Ted Shaker. And, of course, we would all like to extend our congratulations to Ted and his lovely wife, Cheryl, on the birth of their baby boy yesterday. God bless you. Mm. What a way to celebrate championship, huh? No doubt. NCAA.
So the Purple Knights get all the way to the championship game, playing with talent and certainly on emotion. But it looks like the chapter will be closed with them having given an excellent effort. One of the great stories I've been involved in this year, and in many a year, when you think what they've accomplished, and under duress, too, where the easiest thing to do is pack the tack. And this is not only love of the game, but love of one another, something beyond an institution and buildings. A concern, an empathy, and they did it together, which is what the game is all about. And I think these players on both squads have certainly accomplished their objective of showing the nation that excellent basketball is played at the Division II level, certainly not slacking and lacking in hunger, determination, and focus. And a great face for intercollegiate athletics, too, when you look at the way the programs have been run. Goal tending on Lamont Jones. Score the basket, Vance Harmon, as you take a look at Bruce Webster, whose birthday was last night, 55 years of age, as he watches his team play its final game as the University of Bridgeport Purple Knights. And Billy, certainly we've got a number of people here associated with the NCAA committee, Tom Jacobs and staff, and all the people here in Springfield who have been most helpful in putting on a first-class affair here, and certainly on the floor, all the teams involved, involved with the Elite Eight superb basketball. I've had a great few days, of course, home of the Hall of Fame, James Naismith, the 100th anniversary. Just a great experience for us, too. The birthplace of basketball. And contrary to what you think, I did not shoot at a peach basket. <laughs> Where am I playing that? It was an apple basket, right? <laughs> I, I tended the ladder. Virginia Union has done the CIAA proud. And there have been a number of great coaches in the CIAA whom I know are watching including the likes of Clarence Big House Gaines, oh. perhaps the most recognizable name, but Charlie Christian down in Norfolk State, former coach down there. Hartley down at St. Augs. As Virginia Union captures the NCAA Division II Championship, their second since 1980. continues for Virginia Union. A little sadness on the part of Bridgeport, but nothing to hang its head at. And we'll be back in a moment. When you're the best, you can take a few knocks. I go around. I was strong as I could be. I go around. Nothing ever got to me. Chevy full-size pickups. Built to last with the best rust protection in the business, Chevy Trucks. The trucks you can depend on, the trucks that last. Now it's easy to own a Chevy truck. Today, Tech Tread Shoe Corporation announced a major retail expansion in 25 U.S. cities. When I see a company that looks like a good investment, I check it out myself. We make it easier to follow your own at Charles Schwab, I can get quotes, financial news, and when I make a trade, commission savings. Always there to give you just the help you need. Help yourself at Schwab today. I'd like to make a simple point 
about a gasoline additive called Progard. You see, without proper care, even new car engines accumulate deposits that can lead to a rough running engine. Fortunately, there's a Progard. Added to a single tank full of gasoline, Progard's patented Tekron chemistry begins cleaning deposits not only from fuel injectors, but throughout your engine's intake system for a noticeably smoother performance. Progard for a smoother running engine. When life turns up the heat. Hello? Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm Jeff Green. There's Degree Antiperspirant. Degree's body heat activated. One more minute. To release extra protection. Jeff? Hi. Degree, your body heat turns it on. For years, you've depended on State Farm to insure your home. But did you know you can also depend on us to provide financial security for those you love? State Farm. We sell life insurance. To order the 1992 NCAA Championship Highlight Video, call 1-800-999-VIDEO. That's 1-800-999-VIDEO for the 1992 NCAA Championship Video. Coming up next here on CBS, it'll be the road to the Final Four with Pat O'Brien back in our New York studio. And, of course, a doubleheader action coming your way. The Chevrolet players of the game here, Derek Johnson for Virginia Union, just an outstanding game. And Winston Jones, a superb job for the University of Bridgeport. And I'm standing here with the winning players, Derek Johnson, Reggie Jones, and the head coach, Dave Robbins. Let me talk with you first. You had mentioned last night that you could understand why most of us might feel sentimental for the University of Bridgeport. You might want them to win, but not your players. <laughs> well, you know, as I told you yesterday, if we had to lose to someone, it, you know, Bridgeport would be the ones. They, you know, it's a great story, and, uh, but the players just wanted to play hard, and the score took care of itself. You were respectfully a little concerned about the speed and quickness of Bridgeport, but you said, I won't change anything I'm doing. I'm going to continue to go inside. When did you know that was the right thing to continue with? Well, we press usually more than we did today, and we knew we couldn't press them. They're so quick. And, you know, our game all year long is just, you know, the power game, and we stuck with it. One guy we had an awful lot of fun with throughout the course of the game was Reggie Jones, and we were teasing a lot about the glove. Now, what's the real reason for the glove? Uh, down in the regions down in uh, Fayetteville, I was going up to uh, block a dunk, and the rim cut my hand. Um, I had five stitches. Then uh, during the course of the week after the regionals, I split my hand back open again. I had to get it restitched, and uh, it, uh, it's open again. So when I get back home, I'm going to have to get it stitched again. But it seemed to help your shooting accuracy. So might we see that glove full time next year? Uh, yeah, it gave me a little support. You know, my finger is kind of weak, and uh, you know, I don't really have the full strength in my hand, and it helps me a lot on my jump shot. It makes me concentrate a little more. You know, making me step up, sticking my jump shots when it's needed. Very quickly, as we bring Derek Johnson in here, you guys talked a lot also about the effect that Charles Oakley has had with you guys working in the offseason. What has he done to help your game so much? Well, uh, Oakley comes down, you know, everyone, every now and then. He works out in Virginia in the summer. So uh, banging against uh, Charles is not something easy. So, you know, he knocks us to the floor, picks us up at the same time. So it really helps. Uh, Charles is a nice guy. I like to say hello to him. My mom's a friend. Marcus Jones, my family, my dad, my mom, my sister, just everybody. And know. everybody. And you guys did a nice job of banging as well. And let's go over to another slim banger, Bill Raftery. Very slim, but we got a couple of players along with Bruce. Uh, Derek, it, it almost broke down to your penetration. They're so big to get by. Yes, well, you know, they were so big. The outside, outside shooting wasn't working, so the coach was telling me to penetrate more and try to look for the open shot or dish off to the open man. That's what I was trying to do. Now, you know what impressed me also, Pat, was they got out on you for the jump shot. Not only could they bang down low, but they were out outside to contain you. Yeah, they played a packed in zone, and everywhere I went, they um, pointed me out because they knew that I was a main shooter on the team, and they really came out and made me change my shot a lot. Well, you guys have nothing to be ashamed of. Thank you for dropping by, and we're going to check in with the coach now. It was just a fairy tale, huh? Yeah, it was, but uh, most of the time they don't come true. and. Uh, it was close, uh, but I, I will say one thing. This is probably you know, all the time I've ever coached one of the best teams all round that I've played against. Uh, they're great inside, and they were great outside. And, uh, we didn't think that they could shoot, and they just ripped the nets down today. So, you know, As big as this game was, take us through the year. I mean, incredible story that yeah. uh, it doesn't seem possible in today's intercollegiate athletics. No, it, it doesn't, but... Um, it was shaky whether we were even going to start the season. Uh, the school did us a, a huge favor by, I think we're the only, uh, uh, athletics was the only thing that we spent money on. And then at the middle of the year, we almost didn't complete the season, and, and they backed us all the way. And 
it's been a great rallying point for everybody. I, I think the coaches in the country are proud of you. Did a great job, and JB is going to take over for us. Thank you very much, Coach. All right, thanks a lot. All right, Billy, and we'll be back with more from here at the Civic Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. NCAA Division II Championship closing thoughts when we come back. Hey, you took the job. Boy, are we glad you're here. It's been a nightmare. You know, we must have 10 different computer systems in this place. Good ones, too. But they just refuse to work with each other. Well, of course, you've dealt with worse problems. Yeah, we heard what you did at your last job. Getting all those different systems to share applications and databases. <whistles> nice tie. It's my boss. <laughs> hey, uh, maybe we could hook up later for lunch. Can you play racquetball? Focus uh, Susan. This is Control. Go ahead. We've got trouble. What's the point of origin? Japan. Stand by. I'm patching you through to command center. We've got to find it. We'll have it tomorrow. Tomorrow's too late. You inform headquarters. The work on it. Hold on. You've got something. Quick, check the vehicle ID number. That's it. With more parts for more import cars than anybody else. We got it. Napa is a domestic solution to an international problem. If potato chips are going to cross your lips, keep them fresh. Make them fine all the time. That's Pringles. Pop the Pringles. Not like chips in a bag. They don't stay fresh. It's a brag. Candles bag with busted pieces. Get your hands full of greases. We've got whole go, crunchy go, chips. Go, go, clean and crispy go, 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 to your lips. Go, go. Pringles. Pop the Pringles. Go for fresh because Pringles go, got them. Go, fresh go. pop right to the bottom. Once you pop. Last year, the average price of a car with standard anti-lock brakes was over $40,000. But today, all that's changed. Because the company that offers more models with standard anti-lock brakes than anyone also offers the lowest priced car in America with standard anti-lock brakes. Chevy Cavalier. The heartbeat of America. The cars more people depend on. That's today's Chevrolet. Sunken track. Don't forget, coming up next, it'll be the road to the Final Four. Pat O'Brien with Dale Brown and our host of expert panelists talking with Dale Brown. And Billy, I tell you, this tournament lacks nothing in comparison to the big boys. Well, you know, next week we'll all be enthralled in Minneapolis at the Final Four. But I think what this game proves and what championship basketball is all about, it's the game. And kids love to play and perform, and they get as much out of it, whether it's on the most minute level or the Division I level. And we've enjoyed it. So for Bill Raftery, I'm James Brown saying so long from the Springfield Civic Center in Springfield, Massachusetts, with a final score of Virginia Union 100, Bridgeport 75. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship. They come from China, from Thailand, from England, Germany, France. GE Consumer Electronics, official supplier to the Dennis Conner Stars and Stripes racing team in its defense of the America's Cup. And now during Stars and Stripes sale days, we're passing along fantastic savings on selected GE camcorders, 